Lots of ways to do this. We could throw this into Desmos and do the vertical line test and get some values for X, or if there's only one value, um, then we would see that as a vertical line, but we also just have answers here, right? So just plug them in. So uh, if I were to plug in, we can go in whatever order you want, seven, right? We would just have seven plus nine is 16. Seven minus nine is negative two divided by seven plus nine is 16. So is that equal to seven? Let's find out. So then, well, no, it's not because it's going to be negative. So never mind. Don't even bother, right? And if I put in nine, that's going to be a zero on the top here. Nine minus nine is zero. So that doesn't work. So 16 plus nine, uh, I shouldn't have to do that in my calculator, but I'm going to. 25 times 16 minus nine is seven uh, over 16 plus nine is also 25. So there you go, right? The 25s will cancel and there's your seven. You could put that in the calculator and double check. But that's it. But yeah, let's. I'll show you the Desmos just because I don't know. That maybe ended up a little bit more brain power than I thought it was going to. So um, you know, maybe it doesn't hurt to just throw it in really quickly and check. Especially because if this is the first module and you're doing everything right, you're probably going to have time to double check things. So when you do double check things, it's better to double check them in a method that you did not use originally. So that way you can make sure that if you messed up uh, the first time doing something, you don't mess up again. So here. If I do equal seven, I should get, there it is. Now it doesn't let me tap it, but it's clearly 16. Um, I don't think it lets me tap it because there's division in this, but normally you can tap that and see the point. Um, but no, no big deal, don't need it. There it is, it's clearly that. And now I have confirmation that I'm right. You really don't wanna get something like this wrong because you multiplied wrong, added wrong, whatever. And I could feel it as I was doing it that like, oh, maybe maybe my brain is not up to up to the right level here for this. But uh, it's the first module. So maybe on the real test day, you wouldn't have any problems like that. But like I said, it doesn't take long to enter it in Desmos and just be really sure.